Hey everybody, it's John aka Smelly Telly and I'm hanging out here at More Music in Evansville, Indiana and moreguitars.com and today we're going to be talking about this actually pretty fantastic looking Gretsch guitar. This is the G5410T Electromatic Rat Rod and I'm smiling because I did all that without looking at the cheat sheet on the floor. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about it. So this is definitely, I think, more close to what a lot of people think about with Gretsch guitars. It is a full hollow body guitar, um, which means it does not have a tonal block, which also means that if you're running into a lot of gain at high volumes, this thing could possibly explode in your hands, which could be cool, I guess. Um, it's, to me, a guitar that's more at home maybe playing that Chet Atkins thing that I obviously cannot do, uh, or jazzy type of stuff, or rockabilly. We are going to throw it through some gain too, just to check it out, see how it goes. Let's talk about the specs real quick. So the guitar itself is, you know, mostly maple. The exception being the fretboard is rosewood. Um, you do have the thumbnail inlays, which I think is pretty cool. The electronics, you have your master volume. That that's one of my favorite features on the Gretsch's. It if, if you haven't watched one of the videos before, I'll demonstrate it here in a little bit. So the master volume. You've got a volume control for each pickup, and you've got a tone control and a three-way switch. The pickups, okay, so now you're going to look at this and you're going to think that I've lost my mind. These are the Filtertron blacktops, but they're in red. So they're blacktop Filtertrons, but they're they're red, so I guess they're special. They're, you know, a different kind of black. <laughs> and I would say that these are... These specific pickups are a little bit on the darker side, um, which depending on you know what you're plugging into could actually be pretty beneficial. Uh, it does have the B6 Bigsby on it. I try not to touch this too much so that we don't have to go back and retune because the strings are new on it and everything. Um, you got you know kind of a tunematic style bridge here, and it does have um, it does does have like the wood bridge down here. It's not floating though. It says the in the specs that it's actually kind of glued in place which again, for most people, that's gonna be good. You know, if you take strings off of an arch top and it's got kind of the floating bridge around, just trying to get it in the exact right spot again can be, <laughs> for people like me, a challenge. So I think that's actually a good thing. And I think that's pretty much all the specs. You can see it's in a matte finish black, which, um, and it's matte on the back as well, so it's real nice, slick feel. Um, it's uh, It feels like your grown-up's guitar, and um, <clears throat> maybe I'm not a grown-up, maybe I'm not the best person to be demoing it, but I am the person holding it right now. <laughs> so let's get some tones. You heard a little bit of the uh, bridge pickup. Let me demonstrate if you've not really heard the master volume before. What I like about it is that you don't lose any of that high end as you turn it down. So sometimes with vol volume controls on some electric guitars, as you turn it down, the high end kind of goes away and it becomes almost too bassy. But the way Gretsch have their setup, as you turn it down, it just gets quieter, it doesn't lose any of its high end. <laughs> It's pretty dramatically fast. So you wouldn't have to turn it very much. I would consider it kind of like more using a volume pedal if you've got a volume pedal. All right, that's the bridge pickup. Taking it easy on the Bigsby. Let's go to the middle position. Let's go to the neck, and it's probably coming through the video again. These are fairly dark pickups.
All right. And as promised, it's not really a rocker's guitar, but so what? We're here. We're plugged into the Mesa Boogie. Let's kick on a little bit again just to see what it's like. Down here on the bridge. Fun. We'll try the middle position. And next. I haven't deedly deed, have I? Okay, so a little deedly deed. for some single note stuff. Um. I think it sounds pretty cool like that. To me, this guitar just kind of sounds great with those big chords. And if it was a grown up playing it instead of me, maybe probably they would sound a lot better. It's pretty cool. So, and this is, again, their electromatic range. So you're talking about a guitar with a lot of features and um, with, I would say, affordable. So you can look it up on our website, what they're going for. And um, this would be great if you've got kind of that itch for a Gretsch guitar. I'd say this is one that you should definitely check out. Uh, it's one that we have. I don't know if we have. Do we have any others in any other colors or is this it? For right now, for right now this, this is what we got. This is the first one that came in. So you could own the very first one that we had. <laughs> it might be gone before the video goes out that's been happening lately. So anyways, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, this is a pretty cool guitar. I actually really do like the red black tops, which still kind of makes me laugh a little bit. And if you have any questions about this, of course, you can call down here, talk to our sales associates, or get online at moreguitars.com. You can ask some questions in the comment section and we'll try to get back with you as soon as we can. So anyway, this has been a lot of fun. I appreciate you hanging out with me. My name is John. You can call me Smelly and I'll see you in the next video.